All right, fellow travelers. Welcome to the ancient city of Polinaroa, Sri Lanka. Today, we're going to embark on a fascinating journey through time and history. Buckle up, folks, because it's going to be an adventure. Our first stop is the Polinaroa Archaeological Museum, where we'll get a glimpse of the city's rich past. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of artifacts, statues, and exhibits dating back to the glorious times of the kingdom of Polinaroa. It's like a history book coming to life. Next up, let's head over to the royal palace of King Parakramabahu. Can you believe this palace was once seven stories high? The ancient king sure knew how to build big. Take a moment to imagine the lavish feasts and grand ceremonies that took place here. Fun fact, the palace had an ingenious drainage system, keeping those royal feet dry even during the rainy season. After a dose of royalty, let's pedal our way to the Polinarua Quadrangle, where the sacred heart of the ancient city awaits us. Marvel at the stunning Vatadage, a circular relic house with four entrances. It's said that this architectural marvel once enshrined the sacred tooth relic of the Buddha. Now I don't know about you, but I'd sure guard my tooth with all my might too. Leaving the quadrangle behind, we'll make our way to the Gal Vihara, also known as the Stone Temple. Prepare to be awestruck by the four colossal Buddha statues carved into the rock. The reclining Buddha, especially, is a sight to behold. Let's strike a pose next to it for a photo, smile, everyone. Our next stop is the Lankatilika Temple. The temple's towering brick walls are sure to make you feel like a tiny ant beside them. Once inside, you'll find a magnificent image house where a towering standing Buddha statue stands proudly. Remember, no pushing each other to be as tall as the Buddha. Now, let's cool off by visiting the Parakrama Samudra, an ancient irrigation reservoir that could easily double as an inland sea. Impressive, right? This massive reservoir is a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the ancient Sri Lankans. Take a deep breath of fresh air and let's have a moment of appreciation for the old school engineers. Our journey takes us to the Nisankala Tamandapeya, an ornamental pavilion resembling a giant throne. Legend has it that King Nisanka Mulla used this platform to address his subjects. I bet he felt like a true king, commanding from such a grandiose seat. What would you say if you were the king for a day? Now we're heading to the Lotus Pond, a charming and serene spot where you can relax amidst lotus flowers. It's like a scene from a fairy tale. Maybe you'll spot a frog prince or two. Don't worry. I promise not to kiss them to see if they turn into royalty. Lastly, we'll conclude our adventure at the Tavanka Image House, known for its exquisite wall paintings of the Buddha. Admire the intricate artwork and try to decipher the stories they tell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but in this case, they're priceless. What an incredible day exploring the ancient wonders of Polinaroa. I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as I have. As we part ways, let's remember that history isn't just about the past. It's also about the experiences we share today. So, until we meet again, keep exploring, keep learning and keep spreading joy like a good old historical meme. Safe travels, my dear adventurers.